everybody, welcome to the Wild Act Way. I'm Jessica. And today's video is going to be all about motivation on a health journey. In case you're new here, I started a health journey approximately two-ish years ago. Um, my goal was really just to become healthier. And along that journey, I have lost almost 100 pounds. Um, but when I started, I had the hardest time with like, not just motivation, but like rewards because let's just be honest, we all want to be rewarded for hard work and our society, at least where I live and who I live around and the way I've lived my life, um, had felt like, like I didn't know how to reward myself that wasn't food related. Um, and so I really, really struggled with like, oh, I had a really good week. Let's eat some ice cream. Like that wasn't, that wasn't going to work. So after kind of racking my brain and really being like, okay, what can I do? Because obviously I was trying to get healthy, which was going to mean losing weight, which was going to mean changing sizes. So buying clothes or, you know, new things like that, I didn't really want to waste my money on. So I made myself what I like to call a get fit bucket list. And I just, I'd already kind of had a journal. This is like literally a five dollar book from Michaels. I love them um, because they're lined and I'm one of those people that has to have lines. This, it's almost full, but I'm one of those people that has to have lines um, to write on or else it'll be all wonky. And so I had it already. I put a little sticker on the front and I had already been kind of journaling in it along the beginning of my health journey. And so then I put a piece of paper that I glued in with all kinds of different things. Um, I specifically wrote, these are the things I have either always wanted to do or have been interested in doing, but I either let my weight, my size, or my poor health stand in the way. Like those are the things that prevented me from doing them. And so that list was my motivation to keep getting healthier and to keep getting fitter and to get lower on the scale in some cases. Um, and when I would reach a really big milestone, I'd be like, okay, Kevin, take me to check something off my get fit bucket list. Or, you know, some of the getting healthy was so I could do some of the things on my get fit bucket list. So I just thought that I would share some of that with you guys, because if you are on a health journey, it can be difficult. Like you want to be able to reward yourself. You want motivation. You want something to look forward to. Um, that's not just a number on a scale because honestly the number on the scale is absolutely pointless and doesn't really matter and I find that a lot of us when we start our health journeys are like oh my goal is to be 150 pounds that's not my goal I'm just using a number but really it, does that matter or would you rather be able to run a half marathon like if that is what your goal is or if that's what you want to be able to do and you think you'll be able to do that better at 150 pounds, then that should be your goal, not an arbitrary number on the scale. So some of the things that I put on my get fit, get fit bucket list were to go skating, uh, which I did. And that's not for me. <laughs> I'm not coordinated enough for it. Um, go boogie boarding, uh, go rafting or tubing, horseback riding, which that was the one that kind of like catalysted my entire health journey because Emily and I wanted, or Emily wanted to go horseback riding, um, and zip lining when we were on a trip and zip lining, I couldn't do and horseback riding. I couldn't do because I weighed too much. I was at the max end, um, or right above the max number. Um, and so I couldn't do either of them. So those were like, I'm taking my baby horseback riding. And so we did, uh, complete a 5k, go snow tubing, um, sledding of some kind. I initially wrote that down thinking that I would go snow sledding, but then on our national park trip, we ended up sledding at White Sands National Park and it was in the sand and well, it still counted. It was sledding. Um, swing on a swing. I had not sw swung, swing, been on a swing. I'm not sure what the proper one is. Let me know if you know. Um, since I was a kid and we built Emily a swing set and the, we built it with two swings and she loves it and she spends all this time on it. And I was like, I am going to be able to confidently swing on that swing with her. Like it seemed like such a simple thing, but like, I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be able to swing on it and not stress about the chains breaking. And like, I'm going to be able to do it anxiety free. And I did. And it was wonderful. Uh, jump rope. I have still not done that one yet. And that one's simple. I need to just do it. 
uh, climb a rock wall. It's way harder than I thought it would be. Um, play laser tag, go golfing. Those two are still left unchecked currently. Um, try archery. I did it. I loved it. We do it on a regular basis now. Go ax throwing, try a team sport, enjoy an amusement park and not just like ride the rides at the amusement park, but enjoy the amusement park with zero anxiety or stress because, or even having to ask for a special row because um, Disney is very, I like to say, poo size friendly. There are very few things that you can't ride if you're a larger person there. Um, the few exceptions being the Neutron ride and the Avatar, you have to get a little creative with your seating in those. But like when we would go to Universal, that is not poo size friendly. Um, there were a lot of rides where I had to ask for a specific row or a specific seat. Um, or I couldn't ride at all. And even sometimes asking for the specific row or seat, I still couldn't get it locked to that attendance um, preference or where they wanted and they would move me or ask me not to ride. So I wanted to be able to go to an amusement park and enjoy it, like not stress about fitting or if the stupid green light was gonna come on and like I didn't wanna have to try the seats out front and all of that and that has been amazing to not have to stress about that. Like when we rode Tron the first time, I had heard horror stories about it. And I remember being like, for the first time in my entire life, I can ride this ride. That's really, really honestly awkward seating wise. Um, and it doesn't fit a lot of body types because it's awkward. But like, I knew that I had worked so hard that I was gonna be able to ride it and not even have to worry or try the test seat. And I didn't, and it was the best feeling like the best. Um, let's see, shop in regular stores, not have to special order or go to a specific plus size store. Uh, go bowling, uh, kayaking, paddle boarding, ride a bike. I had not been on a bike since I was like 12, maybe 13. Y'all the saying that like, it's like riding a bike. Mm, I mean, I did it, but it was not pretty. Um, go for a real hike, like elevation, difficult for real hike, snorkeling, snow skiing, um, enjoy a trampoline park, um, go down a slide, hula hoop. I still have not mastered hula hooping. I don't even know how you do it. I've tried weighted hula hoops, regular hula hoops. I have tried it, just not very good at it. Um, go zip lining, indoor skydiving. That one was so much fun. That was like one of the big ones. Like that was, we did it as a family. It was amazing. Um, try baseball. Do go-karting, parasailing. I haven't done that yet. That's my next big one. I'm scared of heights though. So that one has a little bit of, I have to get over my fears. Uh, try out an exercise class, enjoy a water park, and wear a two-piece bathing suit in public confidently. I wore a two-piece bathing suit last summer. I'm not gonna say that I did it confidently, but this summer, I rocked that bathing suit, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I mean, I probably didn't look smoking in it or nothing, but I didn't care what anybody else thought. Um, and so that is just, I mean, I haven't done all of them. I still have probably like five or six that I need to work on and check off. And I will probably add to it. Like I left, here I'll let you guys see it up close. I left a couple of empty lines that I could fill in as um, I completed more and decided that there was more things that I wanted to work towards. And, but I really have to say, like, it has been such an amazing journey to be able to focus not on um, the weight that I've lost or the size that my body is or the number in my pants or the number on the scale, but instead, like, what my body is capable of that it wasn't capable of before or the adventures that I've been able to take and go on that I couldn't before.
So if you are on a health journey, I highly encourage you to write down like things that you want to do, things you couldn't do, things you did and you haven't been able to do in a while, uh, things you would like to enjoy. Just make yourself a bucket list of whatever it might be um, so that you can enjoy your journey without rewarding yourself with food, which is not, I mean, you can still reward yourself with food. Like I still 100% enjoy food, but I don't think that that should be my reward. Um, I think my reward should be something that my body is capable of now that it wasn't before. And so that has been like probably one of my top things on this journey that has kept me motivated and moving forward is like, okay, what can I do next? And what am I going to kind of, um, how am I going to achieve that? Right? Like, because like I said, with parasailing, it's on my list. I want to do it. I've lost enough weight. I'm fit enough. I'm like, I don't hit the weight that they say I could totally do it physically now. Um, which is fantastic. And now because I'm scared of heights, I have to like mentally prepare myself too. So my get fit bucket list hasn't just been about the physical fitness. It's also been about like the mental and the emotional fitness as well. And I think that's been part of the amazingness of all of it has been the journey to get there. Like horseback riding or zip lining. Um, zip lining, I thought Kevin was going to have to push me off the platform. I'm not even going to lie. But once I was going it was amazing and like I'm glad in hindsight that I did it because it was something that we all did together it was all of our first times none of us had ever done it it was on a national park trip we made memories that were never like nobody's ever gonna forget it was phenomenal and um, like I didn't even I don't like I didn't even hesitate when the lady was like I need you to step on the scale I remember being like, okay, yeah, I'll totally step on it. And she was like, nobody's ever that excited to go on the scale. And I was like, oh, you don't understand. I've worked really hard for this. Like you can even show my number up on the big screen. I don't even care. Um, and I did the same thing with skydiving or indoor skydiving. I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'll stay on that scale all day long. Like I busted my butt for this. I earned this. Like, so it's just, it's, it's been really amazing. And it's been a fantastic way to keep me motivated, move me forward, um, and give me something to look forward to and to work towards that was not arbitrary. Like it was meaningful, it was real, and it was really, really fun too.